Hey guys, Strength Rebels back again. Uh, what we're going to talk about today is our, our model of what we call top-down, bottom-up approach to programming and training. Where this really came from was the idea of Chad being a strength coach, me being a physical therapist, and coming from two different worlds of seeing, well, what do we do with someone that maybe doesn't move well but can still train, and, and, and how, do you, how do you mesh some of those things together to actually get someone progressively going through the rehab programs or the training programs. And uh, so Chad's going to talk about the top-down side of things and I'll, I'll bring in the bottom up. Yeah, so really when we think about this, uh, the top-down for us are the loaded structural six exercises, the squat, the deadlift, the row, the, the pull-up, the bench press, and the press. Again, we've talked about this before, these are fundamental to every single program that we're ever going to put together and we believe should be put together when it comes to health, performance, rehabilitation, any of these things. So the top-down, again, I must reiterate, these are the loaded exercises. In whatever variation or modification that they're going to be put in, they are in every program. The bottom up is the other aspect of the programming, which guys going to talk about. Yeah, so it's it, the other aspect would be uh, anything else that we add on for a particular reason. So it might be accessory exercises, you know, that we program for a sport or for general training. They might be therapeutic type exercises, corrective type exercises, mobility work, things that really support the top down exercises or our structural six that give the person, the patient, the client, the athlete, something to work on their individual differences, but still at the same time be able to load them with the top-down approach. So the, the main idea with this is that we don't want to go through what I term the linear rehab model, where we start off with something very, very small, and we wait for perfection on that. So it, Train, train how to do a hip hinge or a shoulder mechanics or knee position or something very, very small and then progress to the next step. We're missing a big chunk of the potential for developing their overall ability by not doing the top down exercise. So we put this together and you can still work on the, the little stuff, the things that need to happen from a therapeutic or corrective perspective or an accessory perspective at the same time that we're doing modified versions of our top down structural six exercises. Well, then we focus on capacity and strength development at the same time, which is paramount to everything that we do, while we're working on understanding some of the assessment models and the corrective exercise that come into play. So it becomes a kind of a holistic, bigger picture. So we view as top down, bottom up, where they come together at some point. And this is what we want to challenge you guys with, with regard to when you're thinking about putting programs together, whether it be for powerlifting, uh, for older adults, CrossFit, which is going on behind us, any of these things. We want to challenge you to think about programming in that manner versus a linear path. Does that make sense? I hope so. So keep subscribing, follow. We're going to have some very specific examples of how this goes together. We'll, we'll break down the shoulder and the shoulder mechanics. We'll break down the hip and hip hinge and, and back mechanics. And so these are going to be future videos. So make sure you subscribe and keep following us. Thanks, Thanks guys. guys.